here are our quote unquote teams. Kyle, you have Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, and Radiohead. Brad has the Beatles, Rolling Stones, and Alice Cooper. Mark has Jimi Hendrix, Black Sabbath, and Guns N' Roses. And I have Queen Metallica and ACDC. I'm liking my team. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be hard to beat that one. Those combos. I don't know. I think I think you're ahead of the game if you have more dead people in your in your rankings. Because <laughs> that's a lot lot harder to see dead people than it is to go see like the Rolling Stones. <laughs> yeah, that's. You know? <laughs> and you'll be able to see them probably for another twenty years. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All all surviving. Being yeah, they're out. just embalmed. You know. <laughs> I guess luckily it, enough of the Beatles got, members are dead, so that gives Brad a. An extra edge. There you, go. <laughs> there you go. Well, I got one Beatles member. I got one Rolling Stones member, too, if you count the, the keyboard player that was kind of uh, written out of the band. And Alice Cooper, I have no idea who died in his band. <laughs> you figure somebody's dead in Alice Cooper's band over the years. Though. <laughs> Most Probably. Likely. But I don't think there's enough, like, main dead people. To, you know, like, John Lennon, of course. But, yeah. After that, it kind of drops off in terms of fame. <laughs> I mean, I really only have John Bonham and Rick Wright. I guess Sid Barrett as well. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, but, you see, you got quantity over, qu- you know, and qu- quantity over me, so I think. <laughs> well, we'll see. I will, uh, I'll put this up to the vote, and we'll see what people think, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, this was a lot of fun. I love this format. It's goofy but uh it's fun so hey um, i wanted to say one thing you kind of, this kind of threw me off because when you were talking about the, the, when i read when we were doing this this was just throwing it out there for like another uh maybe another uh topic but i thought you were gonna pick individual uh like band positions sort of a make your own mix and match band like pick like a singer Oh, like man. the best drummer and the best drummer. Yeah, that's what I thought we were doing. Oh. This. So I'm like, oh, okay, that would be interesting because you could mix, you know. Man, that sounds actually kind of cool, though. Yeah, when I heard when I thought of that, I'm like, oh, okay, that, and then you could talk about the a band. Bad idea. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that that'd be interesting too because like I was saying, that's why I said to you earlier, you know, what about the type of music you're going for because that would nice. determine a lot of <laughs> who you're gonna pick. But yeah. No, just, a, just an idea that popped into my head when we were we'll talking to, about uh, this. Yeah. We'll have to do that again. Yeah. Awesome, guys. All right. Thanks a lot, Brad, Mark, and yeah, Kyle. Good. Let's, uh, yeah, we'll have to do this again sometime. Yeah. Rock and roll. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks for listening. We'll be back Monday with a new episode previewing the Penguins Devils game. Thanks again to Brad Reyes, Mark Aguilar, and Kyle Senra. Talk to you later. Another episode is in the bag.